David survives this. Apparently, Nikki is actually here for anti-gravity camp. David survives this again. Seriously, I think he would probably have at least a few broken ribs. I realize it's a little early for this, but I think I'm going to have to take a sin off for the shocker joke. There is absolutely no way in hell that the way the duct tape is attached to this fan would hold Space Kid up, especially at this velocity. Where exactly is David keeping that guitar? Maybe that's why he's always smiling. Erin would not have made it this far down the ramp, because her skateboard would have been caught on the mats. Or, I don't even know what this ramp is made out of. Harrison is most likely killing people in his magic shows. Although, based on future episodes, I guess I'm not really surprised. This somehow doesn't break Space Kid's neck. So what, it's just some sort of camp camp? Roll credits. Whoa, check out the balls on New Kid. Where? <laughs> These agents went to the Stormtrooper school of shooting at things, and Space Kid is apparently wearing a bulletproof helmet. Nikki and Neil couldn't possibly have made these knitted dummies this quickly. This rock somehow completely misses David's hand. Larry survives this. Neris, we dead! I'm out of mana! Neris forgot to bring enough mana potions. I don't care how many squirrels you have. That is a giant mahogany throne and a 180 pound man. What the f are they feeding these squirrels? All that's left to do now is recharge with a full eight hours of lying in bed, awake, waiting for tomorrow. So you're saying that David never sleeps? Someone please tell me what this man is taking. Max literally gets stabbed in the back and then carries on as if nothing happened. I'm Tabby with two eyes. Yeah, you're not special. Everybody else in this show also has two eyes. Wait. Holy sh! This kid looks at least 18, so I'm pretty sure this is actually child abuse. Okay, so I guess Tabby is the only one with two functioning eyes because everybody else's drawings look like garbage. A hawk would not be able to bust through a wooden cabin roof. This is just like Blade Miss! Ah, I love it! Don't make this lame, Preston. Max is a dick to theater kids, including those watching. You'll definitely be fired once he sees the state the camp is in. Or he'll stop by to see a dead David tied to the flagpole. Cause of death, not tying 101. Gwen would not be able to see anything with the screen this close to her face. Where did these random disco balls and lights come from? Is Cameron Campbell hiding up in the attic again? Like the Minutemen of the Revolution, we will fight for our independence. Minutemen? Mommy calls daddy that when they argue. Subtle premature ejaculation joke is subtle. The shrapnel from this explosion probably would have impaled somebody. David is officially immune to high-speed vehicle collisions. It is safe to say for certain this safe is not safe. I had to cut costs on provisions, so you'll all be reusing those toothbrushes later! Gwen is the only one who reacts to this. Also, that is really f***ing gross. This attempt at a shadow puppet more closely resembles a mutant flamingo with a broken leg. Alright, spook hunters. Let's hunt some spooks! Don't say that. Like a lot of people, I had to look up what this joke meant. And I'm not sending you for having the joke, I'm sending you for making me read that definition with my own eyes. Oh gosh, the wailing. And then the bumping and the night starts, and then they bump and they bump and... Hey, where'd you go? Jasper the nearsighted ghost somehow didn't notice them leaving. The hell you do? Don't have a cow, man. I'm just trying to be part of the gang. Don't have a cow. Raining literal cats and dogs cliche. This critic is now missing critical criteria on his own critique. This is no longer fine. I'll say. This guy's about to light the entire cabin on fire. This cover that gets blown off never comes back down. System startup. Installing Windows update. This update doesn't end up taking three hours. Be reborn. Robo Romeo! Missed opportunity to call him Robomeo. Oh, thank you, ominous off-screen voice. Wait a minute. Ah! Somebody help me! Nobody hears Nikki screams, even though she's just off stage. Bonquisha not only decided to accept a Tinder request from a child, she got here in an unreasonable amount of time. This fight would be over in a matter of seconds. David doesn't hear any of this conversation throughout the entire car ride. When and why did Nikki draw this? And why is it so much better than any of my drawings? Neil jiggles one connection in this ham radio, and it is magically fixed. David is so incredibly skilled that he builds this camp in 15 seconds. Wednesday was a double whammy for arts and performance. Why are Preston and Dolph still standing here if this happened two days ago? Nerf can crack this bulletproof helmet with his bare hands. She says, what do we do? And where does he keep getting knives? Max would be excellent at camp camp sins. For the quality that this camp is in, this is stunningly decent food. Just proving that any idiot with half a brain can do that trick you pulled off yesterday. Wait, uh, are you calling yourself an idiot, Neil? Space Kid would also be excellent at camp camp sins. Nikki survives this. 
The Flower Scouts were able to build this in less than the five days it normally would have taken. At least three campers could have lost their lives to this challenge. Where did Neil even get all this stuff? I thought science camp was pretty much non-existent. There is an active volcano just a few miles from Camp Campbell. David survives everything. Dolph fits an entire sandwich in his mouth with ease. No, like the Cherokees, you know. Wow, that is racist. Max would still be excellent at Camp Camp Sins. Wh what did you do to the camp? I claimed it. Yep. Where did Airden Space Kid find this dump truck? And when did Space Kid learn to drive? Another raining cats and dogs cliche. That's why I'll never stop trying. Because somebody fucking has to. This moment actually gave me chills, and definitely brought a stupid grin to my face, so once in off. Everybody survives this. David is getting dirt and bark all over his bed. How long has Nikki been keeping what is hopefully mud in her pocket? Or does she just always have it? These are questions I'm not even sure I want the answers to. How is Daniel standing like this? He must have some serious core strength. Neil must also be practicing the dark arts if he can draw a pentagram in midair with his finger. This much rat poison coming out of a box that big. Where exactly is Daniel keeping that violin? Maybe that's why he's always smiling. Wait. This ending song is so addicting that I had to take a sin off for every time I replayed it. So how did everybody get cured? Did David build a corruption sauna? So you're ready to go check those traps now? Nobody talks out loud when they text. Neil didn't program the screensaver to hit the corner perfectly. <laughs> Told you, anti-gravity camp. Neil has a functioning router in his tent. You guys want to see a cat video? Hell yes! If it's longer than three seconds, you won't be watching anything with that connection speed. Gwen lets these kids walk away from the camp completely unattended. Anti-gravity camp! Neris is a dick to squirrels. You threw a bunch of dice at some animals. Kind of a dick move, to be honest. Oh. Neil, are you seeing this? I'm going to hit you, Nikki! Neil would be able to tell that Nikki is standing behind him. David survives. Oh, forget it. Petrol was able to fit inside this absurdly long yoga mat. That's two sins in one. Quartermaster hasn't aged one day in 18 years. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I mean, technically, you're not quite on the edge of the seat yet. Even if he is the richest outdoorsman of 1994, Cameron Campbell could not carry two bears by himself. I've had it up to here with all of you, and I didn't even think that was possible. Except for that time you had already had it up to there five episodes ago. This white feet mat is facing the wrong way. All right, well, now I have to send you for the fact that David doesn't get run over. And I'm going to add a sin for every time he already has, for building up the false expectation that it would certainly happen this time. How are Preston and Neil standing on this side of the camper? Max is standing on the wheel, so how many other kids are attending anti-gravity camp? Children stacking on top of each other to form a fully grown human cliche. That is one sin for each girl in the stack. David doesn't get kicked out of the bar immediately for punching a customer. Do I even have to say it? Gwen would still be able to hear all these explosions outside, because she hasn't even turned up the TV yet. This paper boat spontaneously combusting. This platypus doesn't get pissed off at Nikki for touching its eggs. Where did this stroller come from? Why did this stroller come from? Whose stroller is this? How is Neil finding all this equipment to build stuff like metal pens? This would have hurt way more than Nikki's screams indicate. Nerf somehow obtained a criminal amount of cheese. Max went to the horror movie school of popping out from behind things. This pile of junk has a fully functioning propeller. It's pronounced Merlot. Learn French, Tabby. Jesus. Eyes on the prize, girls. Well, someone can only keep one eye on the prize. Looking at you, Tabby. Or, Tabby. This is a very impractical method of storage and organization. This plane happens to fall straight down through the roof. Nikki is a horrible pilot. Why did they put these flyers on the roof? It's not like the kids could see them up there. 
This makeshift tower that's probably made out of cardboard and desperation can support a fully grown human. Campbell dives out of a real window without sustaining any injuries. Um, wait. I told you, I didn't care. Well, the lead up to this scene and its reveal are masterfully executed. And this shot on Max is unbelievably heartbreaking. I'm going to remove 10 sins, one for each tear I shed, seeing this scene for the first time. David? Mm hmm. Okay, I get it. One more. Seriously, I will murder you if this gets back to the gang. Pussies for life. Yeah! You guys, no. Pussy, 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 pussy.